beautiful people it's me Tara J back again with another one and today as you can see from the title I am showing you guys how to give wrap and give back make gift bags for people if you have a bunch of people to buy gifts from you can DIY gifts and it's all things that you need or will use throughout your day especially when you're buying gifts for girls or women it's so easy because there's a lot of body and body products and facial stuff that people love to use so what I want to do is I'm going to dive right into the things that I got. It's all inexpensive. I'm buying gifts for almost 20 people and, excuse me, almost 20 people. Jeez, I got hiccups. But I'm buying gifts for almost 20 people and I pay roughly almost $250. So that's like $25 per person if you really think about it. So if this goes well, I'm going to continue to do that Valentine's Day. You know, special gifts and special things to give to people because it's like, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. So before we get to that, I don't want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now, subscribe to my channel. Don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button. So you know every time I post a video, okay? So go ahead right now. I'll wait. All right, so now that you guys are subscribed and you hit the like button and the bell right next to the subscribe button, we just gonna jump right into it, okay? <laughs> so the first thing I wanna show you guys are the baskets. So the three places that I went today was Target, Dollar Tree, no, four places, I'm sorry. Well, three, because you really can consider Dollar Tree and Family Dollar the same thing. So I went to those two places, Target, Joann's Fabric, and yeah, those are all the places I went today. So, and I got all of these things. So for starters, I'm gonna show you guys the baskets, right? I got these baskets. I got, this is how deep it is. This is how big it is. These are amazing, amazing. I got five of these from the Dollar Tree, $5, boom. Super easy, super full. And you can fill this up with so many things. And it's like amazing, amazing. So the next thing I got when I went to Joanne's Fabric are these baskets. I'm gonna use these baskets for something a little bit different than how I make these baskets. These are mostly like body products and like, you know, skincare kind of thing. And this is gonna be a little bit of um, candles, um, that, that stuff like that. I haven't thought it through, but I did get four of these baskets. The funniest story is that when I went to Joanne's Fabric, they had a sign up saying buy one, get one free. So one of these are $7.99. So I got four. So I got four baskets for $15. However, the sign was not supposed to be there. They had the sign on the basket slot, but it was really <laughs> supposed to be on the storages. So I came up and I'm super excited about that because these were supposed to be $7.99 a piece. That would have been about $50 for these baskets. Like, no, I'm sorry, I'm tweaking. That would have been my 30 something dollars for these baskets. But I got them for $15 for them and they're so freaking cute. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna gift wrap these too. But after that, another thing that I'm going to use for storage are these cups. I got these two cups, which is I'm gonna give and I'm gonna fill them up with things. And it's not a lot of stuff, obviously, as you can see, it's not that deep, but it's a muck cup that you can use and reuse. I got these from the dollar store as well. I got two, I basically got two of everything because you can re-gift. Then the cutest thing ever are these. These also is what I got from the dollar store. These are little inside houses, but here's the tea. You can open it up and you can fill it up, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use these as storage bins too. And I'm gonna fill these up and they're gonna be filled with knickknacks and things like that. I don't know what just yet, but I thought this was the most cutest thing and the most creative thing that you can do right so i bought, bought those so now tying into what i'm going to fill the baskets up with first things first i am going to i bought these they first i bought papers right these are gift the gift tissue paper i bought packs of white and i bought pack, packs that are colored i got these from family dollar they were like $1.99 or maybe even a dollar. But but here's the thing. When I went to Family Dollar, I mean not Family Dollar, um Dollar Tree, 
I had two mugs. I got four of these candles here because I plan to make candles. We're gonna tap into that in another video, but I got four of these and they also had to wrap these up and get paper. So what I'm going to do is just reuse the paper, right? Why not? Just in case to make sure you have more than enough, reuse it. So I got four of these candles because again, I said I want to make some candles and stuff like that. Um, I ended up getting these jars here. I got four of these jars from the Dollar Tree. So that is four more dollars. Um, and then I got these jars here. I started filling it already, but this is a jar that I have. I have two of these. And yeah, what else, what else, what else do I have from the Dollar Tree? I got candies. I got candy, colorful candy canes that I'm gonna fill into the bucket. Somehow, some way, I have ribbons to make sure I can wrap it up. I wanted to make these cute little calendar things, but I still haven't figured out where to find gift tags. I know how to do it, but I have to figure out where to get plain white gift tags or just gift tags in bundles. Because what I've noticed is um, they only come in like packs of 10 or 12. It's like if I want to do the whole year, I need 12 for the month and I need at least 31 days. So that's like 40, 40, that's like 43 tags you need if you think about it. Oh, and then the days of the week, like you need the days of the week. So that's about 50 tags and Nah, nah, I'm not going to buy five of these things for $3. No, I want to buy it in bulk. Why aren't they packed in bulk? So I haven't gotten to that yet. To that yet. I'm going to check Amazon to see what that's looking like for the gift tags. In the meantime, I am going to um, go into something else. I did get some Q-tips because, again, I want to get bad products, body products, skincare things. I got cotton balls. I'm going to plan to put these two together. I plan to give away two Bibles because, you know, everybody needs to love Jesus in their life. I have a white one that I keep. Um, no, actually, you know what? I left it. I made sure that was one thing I did not take from my ex's house because everybody needs Jesus. I could just buy me a new one, okay? But I have a white one, a bigger one that I keep on my windowsill over my head when I sleep. So, yeah, Jesus is going to always be with me. I, ain't get, I don't need the devil coming through, you know? Anyways, I got three different candies. I always, um, I already started filling it, but this is my granny. When I was little, I, first thing I thought was to get this. My granny loved this candy when I was little. I will never forget. She always used to eat those and they're so freaking good. I got this candy. I thought it was Christmassy. I mean, it's a year round thing, but of course I got peppermints. As you can see, I opened it because I already started filling it. And then the next candy that I got was this coffee candy. I do not know what it tastes like. Coffee hard candy. I'm not big on coffee unless it's iced coffee with a whole bunch of caramel in it. But I thought that was cool. And then when I finished it, this is what it ended up looking like. I filled these two jars up. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up with a ribbon. And then it's going to be it. Like, I'm just going to, there's there you are. Merry Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Like, simple gifts that you can give people. Like, you know, we maybe those people like your coworker, you don't really know like that. These are awesome simple gifts to show you appreciate them. And you know, you noticed them and you didn't leave them out, right? So, I, I thought these were great. Um, when I started to put in the, I started to get these baskets together here. Oh, oh, another thing that I got was these i got these things from target it came in a pack of 10 this was about ten dollars i'm going to drop one in each of them hopefully there's enough if there's not enough everybody just won't get one right especially if i drink one tonight <laughs> but anyways i also got these walnuts from joanne's fabric i thought this was some cute little decorative kind of things to drop into the basket it smells good too, so that's awesome. I'm gonna drop it into the baskets that I make candles and stuff for, just to be more a little more decorative and make them look a little cute. I got um, snuggy socks from Joanne Fabric. I'm going to break these apart, so there's gonna be four of these. I'm gonna separate them, and I'm going to so have four pairs, which means I can fill the, I can put this in four different boxes, right? No need to double gift. Then. I got these loofahs. I got four, three of these just to 
put in some box baskets. I got two of these. These are so cute. I really want to keep it for myself, but I have more than enough of these. I got um these bath bombs. You know, always the girls, we love the bath bombs. I got all of this from Dollar Tree, Family Dollar or Dollar Tree. So all of these are a dollar. Um, I got nail polish, Dollar Tree. So again, a dollar. I got three of these. Um, and, um, I'm sorry, that was a remover. This is nail polish. I got nail polish from the Dollar Tree. I got all, you know, neutral colors. I didn't get no like hot pinks or like hot reds. I got all, you know, calming colors that, you know, adults like to use. And these are like year round colors that you can polish your colors with. This was, was the pink one. I have a, like a soft, like a beigey color. This is so pretty actually. And then I have a, like a, like a, like a dark fallish red color. And then after that, this is the, I have a gray that I thought to myself, I'll keep this, but I might not, but I did put it to the side for myself because this is so freaking cute. So FYI for that, um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I have two coworkers that are having babies. My cousin, of course, she's one of my coworkers. She's having a little girl. I mean, he, she's having a little boy. And then I have another coworker that's having a little girl. So I'm just going to drop these in their baskets for extra touch just to fill it up. And then I got uh, coconut oil for my bob because I'm going to make some body scrubs and I'm going to make some, um, yeah, I'm going to make body scrubs. So I need this to, I need this. I want to put some coconut oil also in the candles when I make the candles. And then I got... Oh, I got another mug that I can use as a filler or I could just drop it in a basket. I got another mug for that. I also got these things here. Oh, I got this for a specific coworker. These are just going to go together and that this is going to be her gift. This is just a pen and a notebook. I got this from Target. Both of these together are probably about nine bucks. I thought this was a cute set. I might put a, ro a ribbon on there sit it on the desk with the Christmas card, Merry Christmas, you know, that good stuff. And then I got these crayons. What I plan to do with this is, I got these two candles from the Dollar Tree. Simple, regular, vanilla, vanilla candles. They smell amazing. I am going to make them colorful. I want to melt these crayons down. I don't know what colors I want to do just yet. But I'm gonna melt them down, and then when I melt them down in the pot, I'm going. They're gonna turn into wax, and I'm just gonna wrap this around and make it like colory a design on there. So when I do that, I do. I am gonna have another video for that. So stay tuned for that. Mm, what else haven't I showed you? Oh, I have these chalkboards. I forgot to actually buy some chalk, but I don't. I think that's. I think that I could do that at any time. But yeah, you could just stand it on your desk. As you can see, uh, I thought these were really cute gifts that I got also from the Dollar Tree. Two gifts. So these two probably won't get a calendar when I make it. And maybe other people will. But I thought these were really cute. And then I ended up getting the tea. My co some of my coworkers love tea. So I'm probably going to pack a cup up. One of those mugs with tea. Um... Uh, what else? They say they like coffee. I got these um, coffee things that I'm going to pack their mugs up with. I thought this was cute, especially for the guy co-workers that I have. I need something with that. I ended up getting this. I'm going to drop in someone's mug. I wish I would have got three of them now that I'm thinking about it, but that one thing was $3. So I have so much more to show you, but I'm thirsty, so <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, guys, so let's continue. <laughs> so I, I have Aspen salt because, again, I'm trying to make body scrubs for them. And this is a necessity, the coconut oil. And I have essential oils that I still have to go get. I have a little bit here already that I don't use. So I am going to just use the rest of it until I go get more. I have a shot glass that I know one of my coworkers requested. I'm going to drop this in his basket. I have two packs of facials. I'm probably going to break this up because there's eight of them. 
And I'm going to fill baskets up with these. I got this from Marshalls. I love, you guys know that I love facials. I love face care, all that good stuff. And I also got these cute watermelon wipes from the Dollar Tree. And I got the matching face mask to go with it. I got two of I got two of these and two of these. So I'm gonna drop it in two people baskets. I got these window stickers that are gonna go on the mason jars to make it more Christmassy and decorative with the ribbons. I thought these were really cute. I got three different ones. So it can look like stickers. I got four different ones. Okay, so it can look like stickers. I thought that great idea, right? When I actually dive into it, guys, of course, I am going to have another video of me doing all of it. Then I got this um, stand. I thought this was really nice for a guy. I got this blanket for a guy. I mean, they pro guys probably don't use blankets, but it says the bear. So, you know, why not, right? It's a thought that counts. What else? What else am I missing? Oh, Christmas cards. I got 14 Christmas cards. Hopefully it hits everyone that it needs to get. I'm going to make sure I focus on these for the smaller gifts that I give people. And then whatever is left, I'll be able to get people cards if I got you a bigger basket. And then the last thing, the last few things are heating, heating pads for your hands. And then I got nail filers that i'm going to put in i got two of these so there's six of these total that i'm going to open up and put into a basket and then two special co-workers or someone two for people are going to get some knitting because i got two of these so it's like a bunch of different things that i got for different baskets i think this is going to be a, an awesome task and right now i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how i stuffed one of the baskets so far okay so here is what I did to save space. I wanna unpack it for you so you guys can see what I did. So here's the initial basket, right? This is the basket that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I ended up taking one of the used papers that, that was used already, cause you know, you see it's a hole in it, but you know, nobody will never know that. I stuffed that at the bottom. And then I used the paper that they used to wrap and I put that in here. See? And then I put another wrapping paper on top of the new the newspaper. Just so it can be leveled a little bit and a little bit high and not so flat on the surface. And this is the final look of what it looks like. See, this is the final look. You don't even see the newspaper. You don't see any holes or anything like that. So then I took one of the nail polish removers and I stuck it right in. I took a nail polish. The next thing I'm gonna put in here is a nail filer. So with this specific bag, I make, um, I plan to make three of these baskets. I'm sorry, I'm gonna make three baskets just like this. And that knocked out a few people already. So I'm gonna drop this one of these in, in the basket just so they can have a nail filer. Um, I, I have not made body scrub, but I am gonna drop some body scrub in the basket too. I am gonna drop one of these loofahs in the basket. I am gonna drop a ball a bath ball in the basket. And then I'm gonna drop, you know, you can go ahead and take a shot while you're taking a lovely bath. And as of now, my basket is complete. <laughs> That's literally, oh, I'm sorry, it's not complete. I have to drop one of these face wipes in the baskets as well. And then again, like I said, I am going to put some bath scrub in here when I make the bath scrub with just coconut oil and essential, um, Essence salt and then some essential oils. I'm gonna put a sticker on there and I'm gonna drop that in here. And that is gonna be literally the complete basket. You guys can see it's a loofah, it's a bath bomb, bath scrubs, nail polish remover, a nail filer, nail polish itself, face wipe, face wipes. It's just everything that you can possibly need. All of this is gonna be used, okay? So that's the thing, that's what I'm saying. So I made three of these, all of them are 
pretty much all the same. I may have used different colors. And when I wrap the paper, I use different colors. And I'm going to hold them up so you guys can see. I got three of these already out the way. I'm going to wrap it with some wrapping paper. And done. So that is pretty cool. And then I also, like Iris said, I already finished this. These candy jars. I actually might give this with the... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I forgot to mention that this, these things here is filled with Q-tips and it's filled with cotton balls. I am going to drop it in one of the baskets whenever I find the top to it. Oh, here's the top. I'm gonna drop this in the basket and you see how super and elegant it is. You can just take it off, pop this thing right off, get you a cotton ball, get you a Q-tip, Perfect, right? <laughs> I'm gonna drop this in here. And now it's filled. The next spot over here is simply, it's gonna be where the body scrub goes. And yeah, the basket is completely finished. So there you have it guys. These are the things that I am gonna be doing. I'm making DIY baskets and I'll tap in when I start making the candles, okay? <laughs> So yeah, this is the DIY, the different things that you can buy to stuff baskets and give, and you can buy it in bulk and it's very inexpensive and you can buy, literally make this for multiple people. So my next video, I am going to be showing you guys two other different baskets. So make sure to tap in. I'll see you later. Peace.